Hey guys, this is Josh with RV Wholesalers coming at you today with a 2021 Puma 383 DSS. This is a toy hauler. Uh, if you guys would like to know any more specific uh, specifications, such as like the lengths and the weights and anything like that, please uh, refer to our website. I can't keep everything memorized here, but uh, I do have a little bit of a cheat sheet and I'm just going to go around and uh, uh, point out all of the main features that makes the Puma what it is and um, yeah, all of the selling points, if you will. So uh, we're going to start off here. Obviously, this is the fifth wheel. Um, um, so we're going to have your generator prep uh, behind here, one piece fiberglass lights with the, or I'm sorry, fiberglass uh, uh, front cap with the LED light strips and everything. Makes it look really cool at night when you're hooking up to it or when you're parked at the campsite. Um, all of them now are coming with the solar on the side. So if you guys are going to spend a couple days in the woods and would like to make sure those batteries are being charged, uh, refer to the, uh, the uh, Go Power solar panel. It's a little briefcase version that you can kind of flip out, port, point towards the sun, and keep these batteries charged. That way you can make sure that uh, everything is operating for those days of, of your stay. So a uh, little uh, storage here. It's passed through. So you can see a couple of your uh, plumbing uh, you know, items are in here, but still plenty of room for picnic tables and other camping gear. Um, two entry doors on this one and two slide outs. I'm going to show you those in just a second. So um, and you got your little uh, sewage um, uh, hose holder under here too. A lot of RVs are starting to come with that, which is really nice. So um, uh, uh, all 12 volt electric awning. So you can power this with, the, with just the batteries. Um, you can sit underneath the awning and watch a television. So this is where you could bring the TV from uh, inside and outside, hook it up here, uh, power, cable, sit underneath. Uh, you got your speakers up top and everything and uh, enjoy a movie when you're done writing or, or doing whatever it is that you guys are liking. So um, second uh, entry here, uh, this will lead directly into the garage. We'll get to that in just a second. I wanna show you a couple more things on the outside. Um, so obviously on the front cap of every, or I'm sorry, on the front of the RV, uh, you will have your leveling system, okay? That'll get you hooked up to the truck and then off of the truck. But you have a electric stabilizing system back here as well, which is really nice. Um, basically just keeping everything firm from, from moving, whether that's high wind or people walking around on the inside makes it really nice here. Um, the garage ramp door. So a couple things to mention since we're kind of taking a look at it. Uh, three seasons removable garage wall. So this, this little thing is going to fold down here and kind of close everything off. That way you don't have to constantly keep uh, uh, opening and shutting this back ramp door here. Um, and we'll get to a couple of the other features in just a second here. Let's see if there's anything worth mentioning on this side. Um, so a uh, fuel dispensing, I'm sorry, fuel dispensing system right here. So uh, you can you can take about 30 gallons of gasoline with you, and then if you needed to fill up your motorcycles or your golf carts or your side by sides, uh, there's going to be a fuel dispenser here, just like the one that you see at a gas station that you can fill your toys up with. That way, there's no needed uh, uh, trips to the store or, or a gas station out of your way or anything like that. It's all all uh, uh, self-contained, and you can take it with you. So very cool there. Um, uh, a, a place for a ladder. I believe that's going to be on the inside of the coach. It does hang off a little bit so that they make it really easy to uh, detach that when you're not uh, using the ladder. Uh, 50 amp service. We're going to have two air conditioners on this. They're both going to be ducted within themselves. Makes it really nice. Um, you have your uh, uh, it's, a, uh, it's, it's a dual axle. All of your um, uh, sewage components and everything are on the bottom here. You got some gas hookups up front. Here's the other slide out that we were referring to. Um, black tank flush, very nice. Uh, you can stick a garden hose in that and let it run for a little while. That'll clean off any uh, uh, sensor buildup or anything like that, any odors, anything like that. So um, a little outside shower, spray off your gear or yourselves before you enter the coach uh, when you're getting done riding or whatever it is you plan on doing. And then the other side of the pass through storage. So um, let's go take a look on the inside. All right, guys, so here we are in the garage. I figured we'd start off here because there's a lot to uh, talk about. So uh, first and foremost, your second air conditioner. It's going to be a direct flow, but it is ducted as well. Um, these beds right here, for those that are not familiar, this is the Happy Jack system. So you have a convertible sofa, if you will, uh, that also turns into a bed. So both of these two things are going to fold into themselves. You have a, a additional leg on each side for support, uh, but now you have two very large beds okay so uh, again very easy to, to move 
and both of these things uh, go out of the way, okay? So they're gonna hug the wall and they're, they're going to go upwards as well. Uh, as you can see above me, this is the other bed. This is on a track system. So once you pull the pins, this will come down and stop right about here. That way you have two beds for additional couples, kids, whatever it is that you plan on taking with you um, to accommodate their sleeping. Um, here's the ladder that we were talking about. So the one ladder goes up to the, the top bunk. The other ladder is gonna attach on the outside. And then you have your table and your uh, your legs here for to put in the middle. It's a freestanding table. That way you can always move it out of the way in case you needed to get through here and access the the uh, outside um, a really cool part on this here is also the half bathroom that'll come on all of the 383 dss models so you got your half bathroom very spacious and uh, keep you from walking inside the full trailer with your muddy boots on and stuff so guys i uh, wanted to show you the kitchen real quick so uh, full unit here refrigerator this is a 12 volt uh, electric refrigerator uh, a lot of manufacturers are starting to go to this basically uh, no gas components okay so it's a little bit cheaper to work on if anything breaks it's the same unit that's going to be in your house basically but a little bit smaller um, 11 cubic foot you can see all of the extra space you get when you don't have those gas components makes it really nice uh, as long as you have a 12 volt battery and an inverter which this uh, has both of those this refrigerator will be powered while you're traveling down the road makes it really nice save that propane for heating and cooking and all that other stuff that you need let the refrigerator run on off power it's going to be uh, like I said a lot of manufacturers switching that it's really nice um, uh, a, a full unit microwave here uh, really large I was impressed by the stove how large that is you don't typically see that in a uh, toy hauler uh, you know nonetheless um, but Puma did a good job on that uh, range hood with three burners and a little splash guard once it's all out um, drawers and cabinetry everywhere so uh, plenty of space for dry goods see how deep this is that goes for all six of these uh, and then even, uh, so as you can see here, the island, uh, really nice here, gives you a lot of extra space for prepping and all that good stuff. Little roll up sink guard and a uh, farmhouse style sink. So one real big basin on your sink, a little pull down sprayer and everything makes it really nice. Um, behind me is going to be a three person um, sofa. So basically all of these will recline. You have cup holders on all of them. Uh, very, very comfortable. We were, we were testing that out before the video here. Uh, really like these blinds here too. These are the blackout shades. So just pull down on those and they all go up. Uh, another really cool thing is these USB chargers on the wall. So plug your tablet or your phone in there. No need to have a huge extension cord going anywhere. Um, and entertainment center while we're in here. So the fire pit, a lot of people think these are just for show. It is very cool to look at, but it, it does actually put off a lot of heat. It's all electric and it'll put out about 5,000 BTUs of heat. So it would uh, warm this whole area in no time and very efficiently. Save your propane pain for the cooking and heating and, and, and uh, other things that you might need that for. Um, sound bar, uh, this, this unit should come with a television, so this is where it would go. We just remove those, of course. So, um, But yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's the, the uh, living room and the kitchen. Let's go up here and show you the bathroom real quick. So full glass shower surrounds. A very nice commode, plenty of leg room little linen closet and everything for you even got a little towel rack and a thing on there for you and then here is the master bedroom so uh, still uh, going with the pattern here a lot of cabinetry a lot of space to be able to walk around uh, plenty of windows for lighting your uh, air conditioner is ducted back here of course and uh, yeah plenty of room for storage and, and and all that good stuff guys so And last but not least, we'll show you where the control panel is. So here's the entry door or the main one, uh, the control panel, which powers everything here. You have your status indicator, so you can see where your tanks are, are reading at. Uh, you can see they're on one third of all of them because we just prepped this one. Um, but your awning, both your slides, all of your light switches and everything, all right here. Even your water heater and your water pump um, is all going to be right here, guys. So nice, uh, centrally, centrally located and uh, is going to be easy to access once you hop in the trailer and uh, get camping. So um, guys, if you have any other questions, I know I didn't really get too much on the specifications and stuff. We're uh, running on a limited time, but if you have any more questions, please reach out to us. You can reach us the uh, best at a um, telephone number 877-877-AGAIN-4494, and you can reach me at extension 1000. Thank you for watching.